So, um, about Fantasia, right? Everybody been up in arms about what Fantasia said in the Breakfast Club, all right? Let me first say, if you hear some noise, truck noise and stuff like that, I'm in my truck right now, um, leaving LaGrange, Georgia, on my way to Durham, North Carolina. This a long ass drive. I felt like I might as well come on in here and deal with this shit since people been asking me. Now what people were sending me was a small clip. So I went and watched the full little, uh, you know, little interview that she, her, uh, DJ Envy and um, Angela Yee. I watched her, I, I watched most, I'll say all the way to, she started talking about some bitch in a nail salon. But um, I watched most of it. I watched all the part that people was having an issue with. Let me say, before we get into this, before y'all start already wanting to dislike this shit and be mad as it is, hear me out, all right? Because she said some shit that I rock with, and then her, I didn't, not so much. So just hear me out. All right, first and foremost, we gotta deal with the schematics of the word submission. This seems to be an issue. And then you got people sitting around talking about, oh, Fantasia can't be the one saying this shit because she blah, 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 blah. Black women, of course. And let me just tell y'all, based on any amount of research, any amount of study, any amount of observation I've done, it does not matter who says what about submission, black women gonna have a problem with it. That's just how it is. This is not me creating no shit out of the air just to say, this is just how it is. Y'all's Jesus could have sitting there and said this shit, and y'all would have been like, nah, that nigga wild. So, you know, it don't matter who said it. It just so happened she said it, so of course, not right now, she's the one that's gonna be hit for the shit, right? Because we have the idea of the word submission to women involves being belittled, abused verbally, abused mentally, being a doormat, being talked to all recklessly. It involves a whole bunch of abusive shit. That's what submission is to, uh, that's how black women, by and large, look at submission, right? And then I'm looking at, I look at submission a completely different way. I look at submission as a very simple form of cooperation. Sometimes you need to shut the fuck up. To me, it's a very simple thing. You know, we're going to dig into it a little bit more here, but to me, that's all it is. Sometimes you need to shut your motherfucking mouth. Don't nobody want to argue. Don't nobody want to debate. No, no man want to do all that all day long. Everything he say has to become this big, long conversation. Nobody wants to do that. Fantasia alluded to the fact that when she met the dude she uh, married to right now, she was all on some, you know, neck rolling, yap, 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 running that motherfucking mouth, and he told her to chill the fuck out. She chose to chill simple to her that's being submissive letting a man be a man letting a man say look chill and you actually chill that's simple and then you got black women who say well i ain't gonna let no man be no leader because ain't nothing dude this motherfucker ain't no leader ain't, ain't shit he can't leave me nowhere he ain't no motherfucking leader this is what black women say about black men, about their sons, as a matter of fact. Um, and then to that, I'm trying to figure out what are y'all doing fucking, sucking, swallowing, letting niggas nut all in you, and y'all claim ain't no leaders out here. What, what, what are y'all doing? And I'm glad I listened to the whole video because DJ Envy said something. He said something that was interesting to me. Fantasia asked him who he's been married. I think he said for 18 years. She asked him. What is the key? And DJ Envy like many married men said The woman's always right Communication and the woman is always right basically Now if a woman if y'all black women want a man like DJ Envy then say that that's not leadership Y'all not, to me, it's a whole lot of dishonesty going around. Because women claim they want leaders, 
until a man is checking either her behavior or something she's doing that's out of pocket. Or telling her to calm the fuck down and ain't that serious. Or I don't feel like fucking arguing. Just shut the fuck up for a minute and chill. Women want a leader until their behavior is that being checked. DJ Envy may lead financially, and if that's what a woman wants, that's what y'all need to say. I want a dude that got money. Stop acting like you want a leader, because a leader gonna call you out on your bullshit. He gonna check your motherfucking attitude, and he's gonna require that you calm down. He's going to require peace in his home when he get off work. He's going to require those things as a leader. And if ain't no leaders out here, then y'all need to stop fucking so much. To me, dating, having a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Y'all need to stop doing all this shit if ain't no leaders out here. I don't understand. What's the point of being with somebody just to turn around and say, oh, I ain't no leaders. That doesn't make any sense. And how y'all view uh, 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 leadership, it's not, you don't want to be checked. That's the part you got a problem with. Quiet is kept. You don't want your behavior checked. You want to be like DJ Envy said, the woman is always right. You want an Envy. You don't want no leader for real. You want to argue. You want to second guess. You want to question a man all the goddamn time. That's what you want to do. And you want him to be quote unquote strong enough to allow you to conduct yourself this way. Why he just say, okay, yeah, you always right. And this is how I know I'm fucked up in the game. I'm not marriage or relationship material because I'd be damned if that's the way. Because again, this is what married men say. A lot of them say this, that the best way to run a, a successful cool household is that the woman is always right and I don't motherfucking believe in that shit you're wrong and I'm gonna tell you your ass is wrong very simple a lot of women have been put into this role of leadership though and Fantasia alluded to this she been put into this role of leadership because society done got the shit fucked up a lot of women having to fend for themselves and I understand that shit you got to fend for your motherfucking self. Ain't nobody been around to help you. Your daddy motherfucking ran out. Whoever you decide to have a kid with, this motherfucker's nowhere to be found. You've been having to fend for yourself. I respect and understand that mentality that has to come with that. But once you decide to open yourself up to be with a man, then you're going to have to take something off the top. You're going to have to chill. You got to give up some of that, that role that you've been playing. You got to give some of it up. And notice I said some. Because again, to me, submission is not like a dictatorship and no shit like that. It's not like that. Sometimes your ideas are going to be the ones to go with. That's cool. Sometimes it's going to be the man's ideas that you go with. That should be cool. Submission, to me, is going to be about a woman being cooperative without being combative. Let me give you all an example just in case you lost at this point. Women are submissive, submissive at work. If a manager comes up to you and you over there on your phone, Facebook and Instagram, on my page, if you're not following me, links in the description box, on my page, clicking like and shit like that, strolling or whatever. He comes say, put that, put that phone up and get back to your desk. You gonna put that phone up and you gonna take your ass back to your desk. You're not going to tell him he don't pay your motherfucking phone bill. You're not going to tell him how grown you are. You're not going to tell him he ain't your daddy. Or her, she not your daddy or mama or whatever. You're not going to talk all that shit. You're going to shut your ass up because you know you're not supposed to be on your phone. And you're going to go sit down and get your ass back on that call line. Or go greet customers. Whatever you're supposed to be doing, you're going to go do it. So y'all know how to be submissive. The manager ain't did shit but be in a position. You don't know them personally. You don't know their life. They could be fucked all the way up. But you're going to listen to them though. You're going to do what they tell you you do without running your goddamn mouth. Well, you know, you're going to get fired. You ain't worried about black men firing your ass. So you run your goddamn mouth. This is, the, this is just true shit. 
You know how to be submissive. You just don't want to do it at your house with the man you call yourself being with, which doesn't make any sense. Now, I'm not saying that every man deserves submission. I'm not saying that. I'm saying what y'all need to do is be honest. If you just want a man that got money, say that. You don't want no leader for real. You want a man that can put it down in the bedroom and pay some bills, then say that. But stop acting like you want a leader because a leader is going to correct your behavior. Whatever it is, is it fucked up? He's going to tell you it's fucked up. And he's not trying to have no big long argument about it. You're wrong. You're wrong. Sit your ass down somewhere. No need to go back and forth. All your life you had to fight. We get it. But not right now. We ain't got time for it. Especially when you get to a certain age. Because Fantasia is up in a certain age. She 30 plus. A lot of us, we, we grown. Ain't nobody got time to be sitting around arguing. Debating. Being nagged over stupid shit. Nobody has time for that. When men are talking about submission, this is what we're talking about. We're not talking about being a doormat. We're not talking about you uh, allowing yourself to be disrespected by us. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what Fantasia's talking about. Y'all just take it as that because the schematics of the word is fucked up to y'all. Y'all hear that shit and it's like, you know, like goddamn kryptonite or something. Everybody get up and I ain't no goddamn doormat. Nobody said that. You were told to shut your mouth and open your ears sometimes. Simple. To me anyway. Apparently it's not that simple. <laughs> Based on the comments and shit I see. Now, they have this conversation. And a lot of them like to bring God into this shit. You know, y'all love bringing God into a lot of shit. Envy talking about how much he prayed with his woman. And Fantasia talking about how she prayed for a man. Look, let me tell y'all women that's praying for a man. If y'all is serving a God that you think is serving you up, men or women. This is dudes praying for women too. If you believe you being served up men, but y'all's God is allowing children to be killed, raped, uh, neglected, abused. He not delivering none, no, none of these children from none of this shit. But he coming to send y'all somebody to fuck with? Something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Something is terribly wrong if y'all be sitting around talking about praying for a damn man or praying for a woman. That's bullshit to me. Ain't praying. They, they, now I know they say a family that prays together stays together, but we know that ain't real. How long does stuff 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 have to be shown to be fake bullshit for y'all to let let it go? Now Fantasia's from High Point. She's from High Point, North Carolina. She's in the Bible Belt. You come to North Carolina church, 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 church. That's what it is. And she alluded to the fact, you know, a lot of this submissiveness will come from, you know, you coming up in that Christian, some of it will. Now, we know there are a lot of Christian women who are not really about to submit to nobody, but they Heavenly Father any goddamn way. And maybe what men ought to do is y'all need to start leaving notes, because if women don't listen to the Bible, I'm thinking now, this is me having a random thought. If women will listen to what's written by Jesus Christ in the Bible, then maybe y'all need to start leaving notes on the refrigerator and shit. Write it in red. Because that's what Jesus said, right? And maybe you'll get some some form of submission from your woman. If you got one that's religious and shit. Leave some notes around the house in red. Maybe that'll work. I, I don't know. But I know women do submit to Jesus. Jesus is they mans and them. For real. So again... Women know how to submit, but they don't deem the black man worthy. Fantasia found somebody that was worthy of her taking on submission, not being abused, but again, just taking on that sub submission uh, role, even though she the one make the most money. She said it ain't about all that. It's about letting a man be a man. And that just mean be quiet sometimes. I mean, it just mean be quiet sometimes. Close your mouth, open your ears. You're going to be wrong. If y'all women want y'all DJ Envy, say that. Stop lying. There's a whole lot of lying going on. You don't want no leader. You want to envy. Somebody's going to tell you that you're always right. 
Somebody's going to let you have excuses for your dysfunctional ass, fucked up ass temperament and attitude. You want somebody that's going to accept all of that. Somebody that you can manipulate. And to believe it ain't wrong even when they ain't. Even when he ain't did shit. It's your fucked up ass childhood that got this shit fucked up right now. I'm fucked up the vibe. But you want him to be sorry. Let's be real. And if y'all ain't no goddamn leaders out here, stop fucking. You're only disappointing yourself. That's all you're doing. Stop fucking then. Now, what I don't agree with about her and what she kind of alluded to when she said, well, you know, more women will be able to be in successful relationships if they be submissive. Submissiveness does not guarantee a successful relationship. There is no guarantee on any successful relationship. Anybody that's telling you that is full of shit. These books y'all read, these uh, 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 shit that y'all, ain't none of that shit real. Fantasia didn't say, well, I read a book. Oh, I saw a YouTube video where somebody was talking about submission, so I just decided. No, that was a decision that she made. That's what works for her. DJ Envy been married 18 years. His wife is always right. That's what works for him. Or that's what works for her. She got her one of those. Different things work for different people. People accept different things. That's just the reality of it. Now, I do believe that the intermingling's, the getting along aspect will be a whole lot better if women were a whole lot more chill. I do believe that. I do believe that shit. But that's the form of submission that people are talking about. Not the one y'all created in y'all's mind. Where y'all sad as hell in a house somewhere, can't leave, being told when to eat, what to eat, how to eat, what to dress, how to dress, how to raise your kids, what to do, called out your name all willy nil. It's not that. Ain't nobody talking about that. Motherfuckers talking about chill. It don't take 10 to deal with every little thing. This is a one. Let's deal with it like it's a one. This is a two right here. This is a four. Let's deal with it like it's a four. Simple. Shut your goddamn mouth sometimes. Easy. Again, I perceive it to be easy. And all these dudes, they're not worthy of this. So that's not what I'm saying either. Everybody's not worthy of you being submissive. But if they're not worthy of you being submissive with them, then there's a good chance they're not worthy of you using them to take your ass out to eat either and fucking them. Good chance they're not good for that either. Or they may be. I don't know. Y'all women is wild. But stop acting like somebody making you fuck with dudes that aren't leadership material. You can see that very early. And if you use them for dick and lunch, then let that be that. If that's what you're going to do. And men, this is for y'all. This is for us right here. Stop begging these women to be submissive. Just stop. We done got to that age now. We don't have time to beg nobody to be submissive. I ain't saying shit to nobody. Here's what I'm doing. This is how it's going to work. You not down? Okay, that's cool. Nice to meet you. Easy. Do not beg. You ain't got to stick around. Trying to change and mold women over 30 is a waste. A waste of time. It's not going to happen. Let it go. If they don't see the value and them chilling the fuck out, because again, I'm going to replace submission with just being chill and cool and let the man makes, uh, be a leader in that way. Without you running your goddamn mouth about everything. If a woman ain't down with that, let it go. If that's what you want. Don't keep fucking with her and then complaining. All oh, these black women out here, blah, blah, blah. That's what y'all, I'm no, that's what black men and women are doing to each other. There are women out here, black women out here, that are submissive. There are black men out here that are leaders. But if you don't want that, or if you're with somebody that do not have these qualities, then don't be with them. Stop complaining. 
Move on. There's too many people out here for y'all to be acting like somebody holding a fucking gun in your head, making you fuck with somebody who's either not submissive, naggy as fuck, getting on your goddamn nerves, got an attitude, or a man who's not a leader, who's abusive, who's dumb as fuck, who say silly ass shit all the time, who's disrespectful. Nobody's making y'all do this shit. These are the choices that y'all making and then acting like once you, and then you turn bitter as fuck. Both men and women. And now you running your goddamn mouth. Uh, you, your mouth is open on every forum, on every platform. You either leaving long, stupid ass comments or you just making full blown videos of your bitterness and your uh, uh, failure with black men and women. Fantasia had her failures. I'm sure DJ Envy might have had his failures in life. Yee might have had her failures. Black people have failures. But she found somebody that was worth her fucking with like that. In her opinion, anyway. She fucking with him right now, and we don't know what's gonna happen, right? But y'all need to shut the fuck up, man. I get tired, I get so tired of, you know, women just coming out and now she a pick me and all this bullshit. Like, you don't you may not fully agree with what the fuck she's saying. And black men stop begging women to be submissive because what you have to know is if they what they're doing is working for them, let them fucking do it. That's what I'm doing, right? I'm on, I'm at that level with it. I'm grown. 36 years old. I don't got time to try to convince somebody to be A or B. If what they are have been is working for them, has been successful, then let them continue. Simple. Ain't no molding gonna happen. That's a decision that they have to make. Simple. You're only going to wear yourself down either coming out your mouth being bitter as fuck that you can't find this whatever trying to make somebody be something. I've made that mistake. Understand that. This is me speaking from experience and getting to a point where it's just like hey, I'm not about to do that. Ain't no point. Either you with it or you ain't with it. And that's how everybody need to be at this point. Stop fucking dudes that ain't leaders, black women. If that's what you want, which I don't believe that's what you want. I think y'all want a bunch of DJ Envies. Tell y'all y'all right all the goddamn time. Black men, if she aggy, get the fuck out of there. Don't stay with her for years and then come out and try to trash black women. That's trash. What's wrong with y'all? But that's all the fuck I want to say, man. To everybody that got the attention span that even heard me out, I appreciate you. I do. Hopefully I'll get some feedback on the video. I don't think I'm talking crazy to me. I just think people have an idea of submission. I think women have an idea of submission that's not real. And a lot of black women have been put in roles where they have to be leaders, where they have to um, you know, step up and take care of everything due to the failures of some black men in their lives. Um, but if that's how you feel and you know that's how you're going to be, then sit your ass on the sideline. Ain't no point in going out here fucking with nobody unless you're looking for an envy. I'll say ain't no point in going out here fucking with nobody and claiming you want a leader all at the same time. If you know damn well you're not about to give none of your power or none of your leadership up, then sit, sit down. Very simple. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Mad love, shout out Team Rob, y'all already know what it is. To follow me on social media, links in the description box. To donate via Patreon, links in the description box. To order a t-shirt from my brother, links in the description box. Hopefully y'all took something positive from this. Again, I don't think nobody gonna listen to no damn video and change their life or no shit like that. But hopefully um, we at least able to have a positive conversation here. And y'all just keep the comments cool man no need to bash and all that shit going on here it's all love just sometimes y'all women need to shut the fuck up i'm out